box called the larynx. This is the front end. That down here is the epiglottis, the front part of the larynx. It's a little bit shredded right here. That's the opening in that air would take to get into the larynx. These are the corniculate cartilages and they have these interesting flaps on them and it's not clear whether these animals pulse these flaps because fin whales actually do make pulse sounds. So these might be part of the sound producing apparatus. If we follow the air through and go around to the back again, where it's coming out in the back right here, you'll notice that as you look through that hollow space, if you can see the light coming through, where I'm putting my hand, it goes into a cleft. And so as it goes through this gap, this sack is probably responsible for bringing those sounds out to the outside world. So this sack can really balloon out and take a lot of volume in it. As this bag distends, it pushes on those throat plates, which are like an accordion. They can expand and contract. And that in turn would send the pulse into the water directly. And these animals are making low frequency sounds. So the bigger this is, the lower the sound. Oh, yep, I knew that was going to happen. There it goes. <laughs>